Hey, how's it going, old school RuneScape, and welcome back to another weekly recap. As the achievement diary has been pushed back slightly, there was no update this week. However, the near miss poll has now officially gone live, and you now have the ability to vote again for options that just barely failed prior polls, like Clan Wars game modes, for example, or the wilderness related changes such as the wilderness boss pets, and a handful of quality of life updates like pressing spacebar to skip chat dialogue. So head to a pool booth in a bank near you and get your votes in. Now aside from that, let's move on to the recent network issues. As earlier this week, we posted a news post addressing the problem and what we're doing about it. So be sure to give that a thorough read if you're interested in that. Now moving on, we get another sneak peek at the soon to come Grand Exchange. And as you can see, it's definitely getting there. With more and more teasers posted every day by Mod Ash, we also see that Mod Ghost has begun converting the Grand Exchange models to the old school format. Shouldn't be long now. And speaking of Twitter, with the recent launch of the Dragon Defender, Mod Ash tweeted his take on what he thought a real Dragon Defender might look like. Priceless. Now in streaming news, we tried something a little different this week, as we hosted a storytime livestream with Mod Ash, Mod Mark, Ian Gower, Mod Noldor, and Mod Wilson, as they exchanged stories from the early days of RuneScape and shared a laugh. Uh, but the Wise Old Man was a lot more interesting, <laughs> and I think I had a lot more fun doing it. Especially when Paul Gower, um, looking at it, said, Is there a reason he's got a telescope that's pointing at the bank? It really was something special, and the community absolutely loved it. In fact, Andrew Gower, the original lead developer and co-founder of Jagex, caught word of the stream and offered to take part in the next one. In addition, we also had our scheduled Q&A on Thursday, which featured some pretty interesting ideas sent in from the community, such as giving skill capes the ability to teleport to their respected guild, a tank test boss, and the ability to recolor the Serpentine Helm red. So be sure to check out the highlight on YouTube if you haven't seen that yet. And finally, let's move on to our Player Spotlight feature. And to start off the week, we have RSN Nietz, who shared his story about how he never thought he'd still be scaping, but here he is at the age of 21 chopping digital trees for hours on end. His story inspired hundreds of comments expressing their similarities, and it really was cool to see the community come together and share their stories. Moving on, Dr. Hilarious PhD made a 60 second video summarizing Old School RuneScape. Firstly, what is Old School RuneScape? It's a game that over 40,000 people play, and it can be about numerous things, anywhere from gambling your money to trying to kill monsters with your weapons. You start in this place called Tutorial Island. So be sure to check out the full thing, because it's rather epic. And finally, Sig Sieg shared his loot from 30 to 99 mining, all of which was trained at the Muzzleload Mine. And he managed to break in nearly 110 million GP, so well done, that's awesome. So there you have it guys, that's been all that happened this last week in Old School RuneScape, so be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with the game, and aside from that, well thank you for watching, and we'll catch you next time.